Man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here. Back again on CSGO with another Overwatch video today. Of course, we're going to be back in the zone, catching some cheaters, looking for some cheaters, boys. We're going to find some people using wall hacks, aimbot, anything we can do to figure out if they're cheating or not, we're going to do, boys. So let's check it out. The suspect is 14 and 8 right now. It's 4 to 7. Four, he's on T side, so his team is down, but he's still 14 and 8. So he's doing really well, especially for being three rounds down and losing it looks like the other team's on somewhat of an eco also i want to remind you guys subscribe and join the quad squad if you haven't already and do click that thumbs up button if you guys want to if we could shoot for one two three four likes that would be awesome <laughs> that's just a random number 1234 likes waiting for that guy on cat that was pretty good it looks like so one two three four likes would be awesome if we could hit that that would be really cool also i want you guys this is also really important whenever i do overwatches go down in the comment section below and tell me if you guys think this guy's cheating or not whoa cheating or not whoa what was that flick holy shit i mean it really depends what rank this is to be honest i wish i could see the rank and but then again it always could be a smurf but yeah go tell me down in the comment section below whether you think they're you know uh, i don't know griefing or using b hop scripts aiming walling whatever it is tell me what you guys think they're doing also i know there's a bunch of like weird different hacks like fake lag hacks and shit like that so tell me if you think they're doing they're doing that as well not that we'd really be able to tell kind of looked like he traced that guy but i don't know i'd keep my crosshair crosshair there too if i was playing so can't really hate too much on that. This should be a fairly even round. The other team's got a pistol as well as Kevlar only on one guy, but he's going to be taking bomb to A. Not really quite sure. He just kind of left his team, so they don't really have too much team. Oh, they're, they're coming up cat, so I think they're all right. They're going to be taking down sight. He has a skin. It's only a stat track elite build, so that doesn't really mean anything. If it was like a $5 skin, that would mean a lot more. That was a good shot. He knew he was right there. I don't know if he knew he was right there. Could have been a call out. Could have hurt him. Or he could have just had his crosshair up. He doesn't really seem to be too scared of long. He doesn't think they're coming up long at all. I feel like he knows the Xbox guy is there. Yeah, the way he's like going around and stop. Yeah, he knows. Cheater. We got a cheater, boys. We have a cheater. This guy is cheating. He is wall he's trying to hard hide his wall hack so hard. So hard. Ooh, I I know you could see him for a second, but that flick, I think he's cheating. Uh, you guys are going to roast me if, if you don't think he's cheating. Although I guarantee some of you guys don't think he's cheating yet. There isn't really enough proof yet. I wouldn't fully put him down yet. But if there's a few other sketchy things, I think this kind of adds up to a guy who's really trying hard to hide his hacks. I bet this isn't a prime game either. Because <laughs> the amount of cheaters you run into in, to, in games that aren't prime, if you're playing like a non-prime game, like, you know, if you guys don't know what prime is, you probably don't play CS that often. But prime being like you got to be level 21. And you have to have your phone number pinned to your account. And if you don't have that, you're in not prime. If you don't think you're in prime, then you're probably not. But if you don't, uh, you get put with a lot of people who just make brand new Steam accounts and cheat. He knows he's on the left. He knows. He knows. I don't know. I don't know. I can't I can't say anything off that shot. But hey, hey man, what is his head headshot percentage? 70% headshot percentage, and he has 20 kills. Wow. That's that's impress. Am I bleeding? Oh my god. That's impressive. 70. <laughs> That's really good, actually. He's not going to go out B because... Oh, he's also not buying grenades. That's really weird. Does he have enough money? Suspect? Yeah, he has 8K. 8K, dude. He might have just toggled. 20 and 8. That's a really good scoreline. Obviously, his teammate just died right there, so he knew he was there. Grabs bomb. Oh, he knew. He knew. He's waiting for them right there. He can see his barrel. I know that. But then he, he should know that there was another guy. Why would he not go back around? He saw... A guy's barrel like right here and then another guy peeked in camera and that doesn't make sense but whatever hey i can't hate this might be like silver four or something hmm this is a hard one this is a hard one it's not necessarily a hard one to to like say like oh i think he's cheating but ah uh, it's just when you're doing an overwatch you have to know you have to know if they're cheating or not otherwise it's it's just pointless to do overwatches and you have to be really strict with it as well because you can't just say, oh, this guy made a weird flick. Because in Overwatch, they have like really low tick rates and it just looks, everything makes it look like you're cheating. It really does, seriously. I guarantee you could go and look at like demos of yourself and you'd say, what the fuck? I'm wall hacking. Or at least it would look like that. Or I'm aimbotting or something funny. Because seriously, I'll go back and watch some clips on Overwatch and it's like, what the, what, did I just fucking flush a toggle on him or something? Oh, his teammate's getting two two quick picks B, three quick picks B, all headshots. Looks like his teammate could go for the ace. Should go for the ace. He's... Hmm. 
That guy, he might have saw him cross. He could have saw him cross. Tries to fake him out of the USP. Grabs the Glock. Probably got more ammo. Ooh, that was a good tap. Nothing really too suspicious right there, but that was a pretty solid tap. Again, this guy's scoreline, he's doing really well. 24 and 8, 5 MVPs. Almost 60 score. That's really good. At least at this point in the game. Buys the MP7. Dude, I don't know why nobody bought... Oh, the other team is not having... Oh, not bad communication, but at least by their buys. I don't know why... People don't buy the MP9 more on second round. I love using the MP9 against uh, people who don't have head armor. Oh my gosh, I'll mail you. He knew that guy was Cat. That was really good because he like was go he was running and then slowed down and peaked Cat. But I don't know. I, I would probably do the same. I can't say much. Dude. I really think he's wall hacking, but I don't want to put him down because I, I don't know. It's not a thousand percent. Hmm. There's going to be three terrorists rushing B... Oh, he's just going to go straight in for the rush with the M4. He, he knows somebody's going to post up right there. That was a good shot on him. Please go down in the comment section below and tell me. Seriously, please, man. I really I really want you guys to tell me because I, I want to know. I want to know what you guys think because all, on all my other Overwatch videos, which if you guys want to watch them, they're over on my channel on a playlist as well as I'll link a couple down in the description. Ooh, that was a solid pre-fire, but he was ready. Ooh, that was a really good set of kills. 28 and 8. Ooh, racking in the MVPs. This guy wants to rank up seriously bad, bro. No M4A4 skin. Not that skins really matter too much. It's just that skins, when you have a bunch of skins, you're probably not cheating because if you don't know, when you get VAC banned, those skins are gone. Wow, that was good. That was really good. He peaked perfectly when that guy was coming out, but probably would have done the same. Now he's going to wait for, obviously, like a buddy to come out or anything like that. Now, I feel like he was waiting before, and then he just waited like five seconds. Doesn't... Oh, he does check the corner. He's going to spawn. Good headshot on him. This guy's movement isn't really good. It's not. He doesn't have bad aim though. He has pretty solid aim. Some pr some pretty crazy taps, to be honest. But nothing out of the ordinary. It's just I feel like there's so many like a few things that slip by that make me think he's walling in a few clips. Hmm. I wish there was like at the end of every Overwatch you did, there was something that like showed like 30 seconds of all of his kills because that would make it way easier. Now I'm kind of put in a position where it's like. God, I don't... I. Okay, so obviously you guys know with the Overwatch resolution, now that we've reviewed the evidence, blah, 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 it needs to be beyond a reasonable doubt. I have to have, like, no doubt. I can't doubt it basically at all that I think he's cheating. And that's not where I am. At least with aim, I think he could have been aiming. Maybe, like, a slight, slight little toggle. Not a lot. Maybe. Uh, vision assistance, that's the one. I'm going to put no on griefing and no on b-hops. Or other external assistance, but God, I want to put evident beyond a reasonable doubt for wall hacking, but it was not beyond a reasonable doubt at all. And I'm just, I'm just trying to be honest. Like, I'm not just gonna. I could postpone judgment and wait for you guys to tell me. Is that a thing? And I upload this video, and then I, and then I do the most common one or the most upvoted one or something, or the what, the one that most people commented. Should I do that and tell you guys to comment down below? I think, I think I'm gonna do that. I'll postpone the judgment, and then. I think after I review the evidence and do it again. So, okay, I'll postpone the judgment because I don't think he was walling. But if a lot of you guys are convinced he's walling and there was something that I missed, please tell me down in the comments and I'll make that I'll make that my final answer on the Overwatch. So thank you guys for watching. Click that sub button. Join the quad squad if you guys haven't already. Again, dude, we just hit 116K at the time I'm making this video. So thank you guys so much for supporting the dream, baby. We're working our way up to 120,000, dude. Almost 120K. I, I'm almost at 120K and I still don't have my YouTube plaque yet. So... I think my plaque should come in the next few months or so because YouTube takes a long time on those. So, hey, no hate. I'm, I'm still excited. for So, like I said, click the thumbs up. If th Thumbs. Holy shit. Calm, I sound like fucking phase adapt. Click the thumbs up button if you did enjoy. Thanks for watching. One, two, three, four likes would be awesome. If you guys also want to use code QUADMFT for 10% off G Fuel, stay energized, stay focused. I recommend pineapple or pink lemonade. Both of those are really good. It's basically pretty healthy energy. You guys know the spiel. Code Quantum FT for 10% off. If you mean else by the video, go down in the comment section below and comment the word uh, Operation Bravo Case. Comment that. Bye. <laughs>